ended up working. We'll see whether Leviathan have a similar approach. Now, we've been talking the entire time about Aspas versus his former team. These are three big maps for him individually. And he's got the jet here without really another individual that he's going to be dueling against specifically. He's just going to have to try to navigate the utility on the other side. And it's going to be relentless. Flashes all over the bloody place. Going to be in his face. Ooh, Sadak. Hello. Hot flash play. I know no, he's made. Sadak actually just cuts himself deep to the corner there. And spots it. So info gained. Be main control. Can be given up. And yeah, got to deal with these. The flash is close to the corner. It doesn't matter if you're paranoid up. QCK close quarters is how he likes to take it. Now players trying to anchor Aspas back to... Corner and dice, everybody collapsing. Left for the retake for Tex. Poor soul. Extremely good stutter to step approach to the B site hit. Yeah. You notice how when they first get into the site, they pause for about five seconds, just making sure that they regroup, are all ready together to then hit the site itself. Really good. And this opening kill from QCK is excellent too. They go in, get the entry, punish the player trying to flood, and then hit the side tankers. Good call as well from Sadak, because that was a bit of a default then into the B hit. So they disguised where they were going. Lev are just going to gamble that this one is ending A. <laughs> so they might be correct. Molly though will push them away, looking like they wanted to go for a repeat. Here it is, pop back play, baited out. QCK is only Looks one fine. away from his Phoenix ultimate. I mean, insane. He's going to have it for the bonus round, no matter what. You get the B main orb, they have control of B main. I mean, do you, do you need it this round, though? That's no, the other question. No, you don't. Right? Yeah. They've broken the stack over from Levy Attack by playing this default. Sadak deliberately gets tagged by that knife, and now he's going to choose the timing to try to split A. Great calling by Loud. Just trying to sail their way through. Yes, it's against an eco round, but you don't want to run it into the stack. They've slowed it down just enough that the players have been picked and pulled apart in terms of their positioning, so. Hello. That's a very aggressive push from Com. Just calling Sadak's bluff there. Don't blame it, though. Off angle, Aspas dealt with. Not enough of the dash. Matino straight at his face. 30 seconds. Door closed and the plant online. I can't think there's too much danger, but you never know. Remaining. Very good setup from QCK and Kalanzi, making sure that they neutralize what's going on. And Com, classic Com play. Always be flanking. So now Loud have got this Phoenix ult available for the next round. Three Bulldogs saved into it, and Sadak didn't buy, so he's able to purchase a rifle here. So there's going to be some serious weaponry. In fact, I think Les also didn't buy, so they've got extremely good weaponry available. This push out from Com is good. He's clearly got a good read on what was happening there with the macro game. But a little, too little, too late. Now, how do Loud choose to use QCK's ultimate? Shadows traveling. Ooh, in the danger zone. Is. Up through mid though, a B split is on the cards, Paranoia. Not quite delayed actually, does catch onto the players, out in market but he pause and now they want to try and play this one, striking at the right time, Aspas disengaging, dashing back to the rest of his team, aiming to anchor but they've given up the front section of the side and that gives time and space for less to really start to get some kills but look at this, the pause in the play, Again, it's so good, it's so damn good, it's so similar to the pistol. And because Leviathan have already activated their defense protocols to drop back into backside, this is really difficult to re-clear. Right Com could do it if he had a recon dart. They know where Sadak is. The right problem here. is there's people boathouse as well. This is so tough for Leviathan to get back into good spots. Not expecting that one. Oh, oh that's messy. My, that's messy. B. King with the two. Do they want to go into these anchoring players? They don't actually know where Mazino is. He's lurking around mid. They're going to head back into him by the look of it. Yeah, back through. Timing! No! <laughs> what? 
seconds. <laughs> Going one for one there, though, should still be good enough for Loud. The pixel angle should be good enough as Aspas, man. Very true. We've seen Aska, Aspas pull off the 1v2, but it was in a slightly easier position against weaker opponents. And Sadak oh, shuts down Aspas oh, again. Man. He's not scared. He's like, I raised you. I weaned your son. I brought you into this world and I can turn you out of it. <laughs> God. I love the calls, though, from Lau. Calls at the right moments. That is, we don't need to see that again. But we did. But you see how much chaos that puts into the round and how difficult that is for Leviathan to deal with. They can't just keep Aspas and Com tucked into backside for the rest of the round. You're just giving up way too much map control, way too much information. Yeah. So when Lau would call that much of a freeze, you can either just sit there and gamble that it's a re-hit, or you have to do something a bit more proactive and you're not in a good spot to do that. You know, a lot of teams, they have a safe word for that, for calling the freeze. Yeah? Yeah. I know one team's is pineapple. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You think it's a joke? I'm, it's not. Making sure you just stop them in the tracks in the midst of all of it. You get hectic in the comms. Same playbook for Loud here. They know they're against the half by, so they're just poking. A little bit of util through main, seeking a response out of them. But Lev don't bite. And QCK has had this ultimate online now. You know, for quite some time. Here he decides to use it. It's into the stack. Now they know that there's at least three people there. QCK's got that information for them. Do they still choose to commit? Yeah, sending out a util. It's going flying. Paranoia is there on top of it. Flashes over the top. The Molly's out over towards heaven as well. No ground being gained. I believe those are King's flashes that he's been sending flying, but no. Hello. Lovely shot. And the utility pressure is enormous. QCK's taking a little bit of a gamble up here. But he's got a good position, and it's only calm on the other side. There's a risk that this could go wrong. There is. Like you said. But he's got back up here. You see the way that Sadak and Kawanzin are backing him up. Hunting for these kills. I mean, they want to just funnel these orbs back yeah. into QCK. Get the ult back online. He's just expended it. He's so close to having this ult online already. If he picked up both ult orbs, he could use the Phoenix ult again. I mean, excellent work from Loud, making sure that, that they keep the focus rifles, there. They make mistakes. But also, you think back to how that exec worked. They have double mollies on heaven, and then flashes, and then they punish the peak from Mazino, who tried to come out. I mean, where do you... Where, normally, the way that you want to apply pressure to flood retake over towards, or flood defend, the A site of Ascent, you want to dominate Heaven as the defenders, and you want to threaten a push out through the smoke. All of that's being covered by the utility from Loud. Standing ahead. Odin's fan play, you gotta be ready for that! Ah, they're not ready! My ult is ready. Oh, it's a classic one. It really it is. Lev who wrote the book, I think. It was, yeah, last season when it was Nons were playing it. But Com is super happy running the same kind of play. Sadak is on his own here, just faking war. It's the pulses and an old command. They put it exactly to where the Odin needs to be. Mazino. Off there. Everybody holding down their own ground. Territory. Finally given up. Conceded here. So Les will be able to get himself onto the side. A bit of a tap of the plan. He's trying to see if he can say, yeah, okay. There's one. Maybe chance for a second. Playing as bad as well as he can, but when he blinded up against the box. Spammable, darts there, weaving in and out. He's dealt with. Unusual round from Loud, that one. Sadak getting dropped to his knees. But he was completely alone as well. You know, Loud really trying to disguise where they were going from. And of course, it doesn't help that he lost the Phoenix at the very beginning of the round there. Now, I think... I think Loud's composition seems to trend attack-sided, just from the small amount that we've seen of their composition so far. Really hard to disrupt. Well, Aspas is going to try. He's got the Operator looking to try and push out based on the turret contact in V-Main. Hello. Oh, this is Fury. really early. Where's this one going? Players are being lit up. A couple of bursts left standing there. Sadak. Really no worse for wear. I mean, yeah, take chunk of it, but still alive and kicking. 
Pretty rare that Com doesn't get a kill with that kind of thing, actually. And they're looking to clear out Catwalk. QCK tries to take his time in. This is not a fight Ooh, you want to take. That's a wide swing. Surprised that Mazina didn't get the kill there, but I think he was just smoking. Main. Didn't have the gun out. And because Aspas is giving them good information over towards B, there are three players stacked here for Lev on the A side of the map. The question is really, can you do the anything against ready. the utility when it comes through? It's if there's a Phoenix ult in your face and the mollies and the flashes, well, there's not going to be a Phoenix ult, at least not for a while. There was a call by Lev in the middle of that. They paranoid, refighting into mid. But that also is another tool gone for a potential fast retake. Yeah. Four players just holding into the position out towards tree. It's counter spam on counter spam. Both teams just aiming to try and get that advantage. How are they aiming? Spike planted. Smokes in the face, it matters not. Pit now down. A bit of that cover into this post plant. Aftershock, slightly off the mark. Housine. There's nothing really to direct that one. I think that's just Com just spamming into the floor, knowing that that player is in hell. Two E's picked up a player in mid, so they know that there's somebody potentially backstabbing. Oh, Com isn't quite aware of the no, timing. Flash is good too. It's being watched for. It's all about that timing, though. Aspas running around. Footsteps made. Body blocking each other. Bullet tagging down, running them down. They want to get that up out of his hands. Cover going up. Tasty morsel. <laughs> <laughs> running after him with the retreat. Oh, no way! Oh, 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 How is Aspas slipping away from this? He should not get out. There's no way. They can't run him down in time. Listen, he doesn't have the eel nickname, but yeah, okay. Not <laughs> applying it just well, yet. He slipped out. He did slip out. But at the same time, he's found no value in this map so far. They're not doing anything with Aspas. Not only allowed finding ways to navigate around the areas that he's playing, but even if Aspas was in that area, how is he going to be able to find value against stuns, flashes in his face? He's just going to get pushed back anyway. You can't. Lev forced to take a timeout. Their economy in shambles. It's only that operator that was barely saved by Aspas. That's what Aspas was feeling at the end of the round. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm glad you handled that. I mean, I listen, I was seeking a response. I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, th this is extremely dominant from Loud here. Leviathan have not figured out a solution. And I think part of the problem is they're looking for like the Lurk player. You think back to what they did in that round. They used the Paranoia to clear out Catwalk and they're triple stacked over Catwalk. Yeah, they want to play a retake, but they're actually using a bunch of their retake utility just to fight in the round. They've used the Paranoia. They used the KO Flash. They, they've used other utility like the drone that might be useful on a retake. You need flashes, you need recons to be able to get back into this site if you want to play a fast retake like that. So, out. I feel like while they understand they can't anchor against Lau's comp, they're not really setting themselves up for success in the retake either. To be honest, I think the op is actually really difficult to get value from yeah. against this comp because you're just going to be playing retakes so often. It's hampering that, them. Yeah, that's tough for Aspas. Now that I've said this, Aspas is going to get an ace with the op, isn't he? <laughs> One player, two years. Shots fired into mid. He knows it's compromised, doesn't overstep it. Great awareness. Yeah. Just with a jiggle. Spots it out. No wonder they're there. Wall. Creeping themselves into the site now. That Phoenix wall is so good. I mean, even other teams that tried to win the Phoenix in the past have figured out how great that one is. Look at the difficulties Aspas is having. I mean, to get value. It's just impossible. Smokes propped up. Flashes on top of him. Mazina with the timing. Nice! 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 Sadak! He's knifing him! <laughs> right here, right now. Okay, aftershock up top into heaven. Everybody back away. Gotta respect it. And how do you play this one again? Retaking with the operator. You don't have guns, your share of some buys and purchases. Two years. Bloody hell. Looking like the streets of Great Britain with the knives out swinging. Still, Aspas is there. Off your feet. Rolling Thunder. <laughs> back into tree. Pushing them away. It's just brutal. There's no chance for Lev here. I mean, Loud think there's some kind of threat, so they've used the ult, but man, there's no way for Leviathan to get back in. Look at the orb they're taking damage through. So much utility they'd have to pass through. The time ticking down. Even as Lev make it look a little dangerous. Nice knowing you. What's the threat? There really isn't one. Yeah. Loud cleaning up. Building an economy that is just utterly booming. 
and Aspas utterly boomed. I mean, he's saving the operator again yeah, in this round. It's just like a cursed artifact. It is. He's, he's got it. You want it, but it might be hindering you. He got his first kill of the map so far. They're just not, for one, not walking into the off sight lines. No. And two, when they do, there's usually a wall in his face, a smoke in his face, a flash to set up somebody onto the angle. And that's the thing, Loud are not really playing super spread around the map. Even when they used to play the default composition, Loud have been the best team in the world at Ascent at various times throughout their history by just 4 one on attack side almost every round. They don't care about being fancy. They're just like, no, we're just going to hit a site. Well, this time, Aspas might actually Dash. take contact. Two plays forwards, playing anti-flash to the corner, touch, oh. but he doesn't know the timing. He doesn't know the timing! Brutal. The He's expecting time. them to clear. The one time they don't use the utility. What? Oh. He's expecting it. King answers right back. And two topple in mid, the B split. Put an end to it. Reclearance is caught by Loud, straight through into mid. Another chance for Tex, but it's traded less. Right there, instantaneously. They're all just trying to tuck down. into one and duns. Let's go. Oh, oh, damn, aware, but King, just a little bit better. Precise. Did have the read indeed. So, 50 seconds now. Spike in the hands of Kawazin. There's definitely chances, but it requires kills. It requires more than that. King, nice way to play it, but Com, He's right there with him. What is replicable about that round Not much. for Leviathan? Not much. <laughs> I mean, I guess the general concept that they're trying to backfill after the utility's been used. You know, uh, trying to uh, find yeah, the timing after the flashes. fast once the flashes are used. Look, this was immediately Pussy. after the flash, but also King got two bullets, two kills in a spray transfer. And then everybody from Lev just kind of walked into off angles to catch Loud off guard. Can they pull a round like that out again? Another 4-1 default here for Loud. Throwing utility heavily into A main, pushing back anybody that might be there. Looks like they're gonna be hard pressed. Another play by Lev. Good awareness. Yeah, with the spam and the awareness, reload. It's gonna be heard. Are they gonna be fast on this? Yes, they are. Paranoia flies forwards. Attempting to set this one up, but they paused it just at the right time here, baiting out again that util, Aspas. Holding his nerve, sees the jump spot. Kawazin still going for this one with a jump spot. That's so damn wide. Oh. The shot's still not taken. Aspas thinks they could have lurked up onto him. Here. We might see a huge duel between Les and Tex in B main. No, nope, Tex gives it up, chooses to fight towards market instead. Does he really swing into this one? Yes, he does. He's just out wide. It's really no support play. there. Huge play indeed. Being made all over the bloody place. QCK up the gut of the map. And he guts out two of them. No chance. And Loud have the spike on A. Just ready to go back into an A split. It's twists and turns. Mazzino is left just bewildered. Bewildered. Oh. He's thinking they could be in. They could have walked. We've lost control of the map. Eons ago. King's pots. A glimpse. Oh. <laughs> Gives less a new haircut, but less answers back with a bullet between the eyes. And this is just heartbreak. I mean, Tex forced to retreat, forced to save. It's loud running away with this. I mean, yeah, we said what we know of this comp, attack side. Loud are good with it. You can't really stop them. They're like a bulldozer. They just run all over you with your defensive setups. But even when they're slowing down rounds like this, they are picking you apart. Yeah, I mean, this, <laughs> this round is... QCK finding a timing, right? Basically. And Tex stopped the mid to be idea. Whether it was a fake or whether it was a reality, he falls at the very end, having done his best, but it's QCK who lights the world on fire. Aspas still really struggling to find value. And I think Leviathan are being pushed and pulled around the map because they feel like they have to respond to anywhere there could be a threat of an exec happening. But I really think they can take it a little more chill and just try to play retake in more of these situations. Think back to what Loud did on Split, where they just gave up a lot of the map and held on to their utility. I think that would be a better option for them. But we had questions. Will Leviathan have an answer for this composition that they must have done study for? Thus far, not really. No answer. 
we, what we were saying right at the beginning. I mean, listen, you can VOD review this comp. You can think you've got the theory down, but it's one thing to have that, another thing to just try and put it into action as well. I'm not scared to use the ults here. Two in quick succession, just being offloaded, making sure that they get themselves into the A site. Rotating where the mollies go as well, trying to clear for Aspas, who might have been hiding in that top corner with a dash right online. There. Lev not set up for a fast retake again this round, and probably just holding on to their ultimates for the next, for a rifle round. It'll be Aspas to try to get a pick, but he's forced to use his dash. Look at the flashes they've got. I mean, it is just relentless, the onslaught. It doesn't stop. Spam with the rifles. Nice kill here, but again, the time is ticking. Molly. Damage done, and that. Watch him for it. Texan was going down just to the tail end of the snake bite. I'm going to go with it with the timings. Com. In hunted out. It's loud who really want these ultimates as well, but they're going to give this one up here. Another round for them. Up to eight. Two left in the half. Aspas is just using the knives. Coffany available to them. It, we'll put a presence there. Flash and a dart, all combined up. Sadak. Surely got to be worried about the spam there from Cat. they have been doing it two rounds now for Lev, but no, he wasn't. Yeah, he certainly could have fallen there. The shorty shot missing. And it was actually a really early paranoia invested as well from Tui's, just to push anybody off the A angle. Bit of a default, not really taking any map control, and now looking to end in an exec. Disguising where they're going to end, making it feel like it could be a slow round, and making it tough for Leviathan to figure out where they're finishing Man, and just, at what timing in the round they're finishing. It's that uncertainty to get settled into the round here that causes Lev to be using all their util. Instead of saving it for these retakes, using it to reclear, take space where they could be. And I think, I think this is really ambitious from Mazzino, trying to hard anchor the site without his paranoia. He threw it at the start of the round because he was worried it was going to be a fast hit. How does Mazzino get value? What in the Lord's name? Okay, Hunter's Fury just from the slightest tag of the turret. Timmy putting in work and so is Com. What an lovely angle. Kill, lovely damage dealt towards him and a real chance here for Lev. They can put a stop to this. TP forwards though. Two years inside the site. Here in that plant, Mazzino's there still weaving backwards, forwards inside these smokes. You don't want to let anything slip here just like that. Sadak ripped to pieces alongside King and they flooded right back into this one. Less. Got a lot to do. Too many targets to deal with. And as it turns out, Loud just assumed that there was nobody playing the site. They didn't even realize that Mazzino was there. The damage, however, had already been done. Com getting huge value out of his ultimate. Waiting for the attackers to pass through tree, and then he has just such a beautiful angle there from market. Last round in the half. Tagging multiple people at once and being able to help his team swing. There's the ult, there's the spam. All that off the turret's contact. Yeah, Here in the Phoenix wall too, but... And that allows Leviathan to save these big retake ults. Aspas is gonna go for another operator here. He hasn't been able to find any value with it, but he's going to give it one last good old college try. <laughs> that it is one last chance here in the first half. Shot barely missing. Here we go. A bit of a rapid approach. Once they call Rolling Thunder. Does catch them. Util has to be pushed back out of them now with the no command. Waves emanating. King has used the ultimate here, choosing not to play it for retake. Sadak and QCK want to establish this position. Oh, so close. Oh, it's difficult. Paranoia. They need to be able to fight over tree control because they have to deny this lockdown. It's him flying, but listen, they can't just fight over this right now. Tucked into the corner, Mazzino. He's got nowhere to run. The lockdown's going up to heaven instead. Molly rebounding. There's the lockdown. Finally going to be used to push these players back out and wide. Should grant access to left. Can't lose any players, though. Look at them. They're just fast. Dash forward still. Holding the ground, trying to spam this. Two years, you're gonna be going down with a ship, son, detained. And here's the real chance. Can they keep two years alive? Needs to be pushed out here. Oh, Spotted no. him. Good night. Flash in your hands. King not being caught with his trousers down ending. by the angles, but still the main player. Holding it for them. QCK is alive and he's watching down this angle. Not many bullets left. King, half, defuse. Here's the footsteps sticking all the way. Gets the one, maybe the second. Half again. Those where the last player is. Denied! 
It's less to claim it, a nine to three in the half. That looked so nice, Box. Put it out your Okay, mind. sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, nine to three. I mean, Aspas should have opportunities to actually pierce through this loud composition now that he's on the attack side. The roles really are flipped when you're up against this comp. Normally, the Jets feast on defense on ascent, but I think he's going to have to go huge on the entry. And Loud, remember, they're going to have to be pretty active and mobile around the map because they don't have too much information. No alarm bot, no turret. The knife just catches comp over here that. on Catwalk. That's all they've got to work with. Oh, no way. Almost there with the timing. QCK. He wanted it. He could feel it with the drone being used. Straight through market. Less. Stands rooted down with the sheriff, but one for one. Traded out. Damage exchanged with the ghost shot. Spammed and peppering them. Half HP on Aspas. But a plant online, so the site's gained four number. How does the post plan look? And what is the call by Loud here? Do they want to try and go fast? And Lucy and they tuck close to the corner. Kawazin gets away with murder there. Right to the side, Mazzino. He's removed. King, Flash, sets it up now for the re-peak. The team, they need to try and refight this one, but Loud are nowhere near, actually. Now we're only just making the moves here to the front section of the site. Aspas, he's got to really just do what? But it's all King. And now from the back, Aspas. Straight from main. King has been having such a phenomenal series, honestly. I mean, the, all of the calling has also been excellent up until this map where he's not been able to figure out the defensive setups. But on an individual level, he's popping off. And these two kills have just potentially saved his team Enemy from a retake that looked like it had a lot of sting to it. Lev have got to make sure that they capitalize on this. They've got to make sure that they convert this one. And I've been looking into these second rounds, Brent. Here. I've, I've just been crunching some basic numbers. <laughs> the second rounds are getting, like, converted way less than they used to in the past after uh, winning the bonus. Which is bizarre, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem to make sense because normally Trap teams have only got Trap classics, but it's stuff like this happening. I think teams are just getting a lot better with how they work the <laughs> ecos. And my God, if you have people like less on the team with a sheriff, things can get deadly. You're right. It's the util. I mean, how to use it, combine it all together, even despite the classics. I mean, you, you think, right, with the outlaw coming into the game, seeing less force buys, people really just managing the economy, so they've got nothing coming into these rounds. The danger's still there. Persuaded for now by Aspas. He's deep into the site, needs his team to back him up. Anchoring player. That's Kauzi! Oh, ridiculous. Right click. I'm telling you, these ecos are absurd. No way. Eventually on, dealt with. King is so isolated, but unknown, unexpected. Yeah. And deals the death blow to take any danger out of the round. Is he going to be able to get another rifle? Yes. Yeah. They keep an additional Spectre there. So Lev is still going to have a pretty good buy to try to apply some additional pressure in this round. Consistency off the, sh off the charts, really, honestly, with Lesses. Sheriff accuracy, these shots he's finding, but matters not. The critical round one. Now, if they can convert the bonus on top, they will be very, Kill very happy. That's why Lever set in their sights. Smoke at the feet, just in case it's a flash play over the top, but Aspas doesn't get caught by it. He's fast now. Through mid. This is so good. Market dashed forwards right into a smoke. He's pushed less all the way back, and there's an anchoring position. Obtained here by Lau at the back. All the way, look at that, three players. They're just waiting to see if there's a response from Loud. Have people decided to rotate? Is there danger? Flash. Most similar scenes as well of how Loud were choosing to play their attack sides when they For were sure. slowing it down with the B pops. They forced the position back. And again, the question is, do Loud want to just hold and hope that it's a re-hit? But if you're wrong, three players are just sat in back B site for no reason. They are gambling correctly here. 50 seconds. Knife. Moving away the U tilt. Or perhaps not. Mid Breaking round call. Door. Mid round calls. And to be the castle. Sada. Surely not. Sada. Surely not. He not hears them. Him. He hears them all colliding right into him. Sada. Down. The dangerous, dangerous back. man with a judge weaponry in his hands, and it's these close quarter angles could really just do some serious work for Mazzino. 
captured and dealt with. And remember, Leviathan have no idea where Tui's is. Throughout all of this, Tui's pushed out A9, just gathering some information for the rest of his team. And now, paranoia has got to be going through the minds of Aspas and Tex. They've got to make a play happen. Flash, Aspas, close. Bites his time, waiting for the peak, but now he's revealed his hand. Has to drop down to the low ground. Four players working against it. Paranoia is perfect. Blind as anything, they cannot see a thing. The Molly's doing the work. They know they've got them cornered. They know they've got Aspas trapped. And QCK with full confidence in the rest of his team. Sticks this one. Aspas! Almost making me a believer. Overall, though, extremely good round from out there. I mean, they just have three people turtling about the site. You're thinking, all right, this is a fantastic timing to try to navigate their way over towards A. And yet Sadak with the judge again finds One enemy. the exact read on where his opponents are going to go. Just immaculate positioning. Insanity. How does he do it? Yeah. But that was a bonus round for Leviathan. They can still buy. They're getting up to large ultimates. Unfortunately, they still trail by five rounds. On a hell of a climb ahead of them. Loud. Feels like they're in control. Getting up to some critical ultimates as well. The main control. Yeah, and Sadak's shooting there with the classic. So if I'm Tex, I'm thinking that guy definitely still got a judge. 100%. <laughs> Sadak just Sadak with a re-clear. Running around, assuming yeah. everyone's scared of him. And if Kawanzine dies on a duel, oh, there's no way. No. There's no way. There's oh. no way. There's no way with the door closed. You can't read this. You can't read this. You just this. can't. Kawanzine's there too. Crossfire setup. Judge and rifles. Why are you repeating that, Sadak? Ah, You're joking. Was. You're joking. It plays Kawanzine in. But he's running around the map. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> dealt with. He can't get away with it. He just can't get away with it. Four versus four. Dash, gonna be fading here. The reclearer. Oh, that's fast. What are you staring at? The minimap most likely. Doesn't get punished. No kill there. Messina from the top six. But Aspas has, has spike in the back. Aspas does have the spike. If he 27 died. seconds. I mean, this is madness. This what is, is all happening? The, all the scrappiness of split condensed into one round of ascent. But I think Lev have somehow navigated these choppy waters. Somehow. on site. Somehow got themselves an open site. Full retake now, set up left. for loud. Not quite the full roster. Lovely angle here for Aspas. He could play a high-low with the rest of his team, but the flashes might be a bit of a problem. Repositioning now. I don't think you expect this one. Oh, no way. All the way through. Unfortunate for Aspas, just didn't have the gun out. Stun, there's a connection. Tex can't do anything. Same with Aspas. Backside players have got to do work and do it right now. Aspas! Absolutely incredible. And the work is done, the job is done. Listen, sixth round on the board for Lev. Two players surviving with the rifles. That looks so close. I mean, Kawanzin's stun is perfection again, catching on to Leviathan. And yet the follow-up just not quite there, and Aspas somehow manages to spray down both of the players with his phantom. A reminder, Aspas had essentially no impact on the defense side. I mean, barely any. And he's now 10 and 10, which shows you how much he's been able to do on the attack side. He's been absolutely instrumental in getting his team back into this race. And Lev set up to continue this momentum forwards. Should be. Sometimes it's the easy rounds to get away from you. The Bucky's and the shotguns and the sheriffs. Yeah, I mean, there's still so much danger. The Bucky's yeah. ridiculous right now, by the way. Absolutely <laughs> it's, ridiculous. It's a silly gun. It's so cheap. I've been doing the world tour of rank playing an APAC, and I'm telling you, they are bucky pilled. They're ahead of the game. <laughs> well, it looks like Anzin and Sadak are catching on. I mean, they've got a bait set up here as well. Les takes contact first and then plays Kawanzin in with the bucky. That's some serious danger over here. Trying to neutralize it with the drone. Spotted up. Kawanzin close. Good work to break that with the Soviet utility. Excellent awareness from Kong. The question is, do they commit? Because now they've essentially given away their hand, but everybody on left is around here. 
fake dash from Aspas, trying to bait out more plays over here. Might have just got body blocked by his team, I'm not too sure, but yeah, maybe. Not ready yet. Well, how much you thought they really used here, and no they've only gained on. B main. Hunter's Fury has to be used now. Oh my god, Kawazin! Finally, somebody deals with this guy. Brought down, one for one. They are finding it difficult to get into this site. Lev, finally, making moves, and luckily nobody just tucked away towards the back section of it. They could have just really put an end to this. Plant down. What's a call being made here by Lau? Listen, they do have the weaker guns. They're in B main, tagged up QCK. Pushing them back, reflanked by Com. All the way behind them. Backup policy. In effect, Decay kicking in. King has fallen. And there's another one, ripping them apart. I talked about it. Accuracy with the sheriff's com. Had to come up clutch there, and he has got the one kill, but he's left it to Mazzino. Into the back of the site, smoked oh, off. So in through the smoke. This is stuck all the way now. Paranoia dodge for now, but this is rapid again. Real fast playing to be made, making them think that there could be even more presence here, but dropped. Oh, now the no command. Oh no. Tanks dying. Tanks is dead. Spike That's a spike. B. It was supposed to be a pivot. Mazzino teleported into B, and the spike is just dropped. They now know exactly where Mazzino is, and he's walking right to them. Oh my goodness, still. Lands his shots, but Les cleans it up. It's getting messy. It's getting scrappy, and this is loud. Set themselves up for the slam dunk finish. At the same time, though, Lev are going to be permitted access to get this spike back. And so now the round is actually going to calm down a little bit into a, a more normal-looking 3v4. Say normal. Yeah, well, Loud can control a lot of the map. If Com got that kill, there was a chance. Take nothing short of a miracle, I think, for them to try and make their way. Pass this round, get a win. Oh, what a flash. Yeah, that lineup is excellent, but nobody to follow up on it. Salak grabs info over left. here and it misses Com. The knife giving bad information. And so Com looks like he's called the mid round. Wow. Tried to pull everybody else from Lev into an A hit. Push back QCK, but again, Loud, I think, are going to be fairly happy to play retake here, even without the breach ultimate. Man, they got so much util. Oh, they go for it. boundless. They just want to flush right in. They know it. It's got to commit to the spike plan. Loud. Looking in prime control here. It's 12 to 6. One more step. That's all that needs to be taken. Amazing decision to decide to flood there with the Phoenix ult. Everybody on the same page. It would have to take six rounds in a row for Lev to pull this one back. This doesn't look possible. The money running short for Lev as well. I can see it. It's going to be an absolutely dire purchase to stay into the map, to stay into the series. Yes, it's not an elimination game, but there's so much on the line. A win here brings you right to the playoffs. One more game away from Madrid, and Loud can taste it. They can feel it. Turning up the tempo, turning up the heat. It's the B crunch all the way through, but it gives Lev a window. They can try and go fast, hard and loose right now into the A site. Maybe a chance for them to get this plant down, but the spike is still sitting in main. Sai access is theirs. Door finally being closed, but less. I mean, they brought them enough time. They're all the way here already. Lockdown has to be used to push them back, and it's good timing on it. Yeah, I think this is really useful because it buys them an extra few seconds here. And it actually allows Leviathan to fight, get into more aggressive position. Into the position, rolling thunder now, pushing, oh, no leaving all the way around. QCK, such a forward backwards position in through Flash. mid. Flash, no connection. Rest of his team making marks and making the moves out towards him and his Aspas. And the rest of his team. Critical juncture in the map. It all lied on this. And it seems like Lev might have done enough. Fading away, no yes, easy Andy. kill. Aspas, he's always got the covering fire. It's available for them, and with the time ticking, Les, you've got to give this one up here. So Lev, taking a deep breath here. Taking guns away is actually important. Oh. And that is a huge amount of guns taken away oh. from Lev in the post plant, but they're going to need to pull out so many more of those. So many more. Do it against the ults. Viper's pit. Drop that one down into B main. That's going to be giving them nice and easy control of it throughout this entire round. Out. What is the call for Lev? 
Vietan. One slip up. Lev can try to work slowly around the map and maybe punish these jiggle peaks. I mean, look at QCK jiggling A main, Sadak jiggling market. If they tried to contact around, maybe they'd find some of these opportunities. Shadows traveling. But they're, at the moment, trying to get posted up a tree, yeah. and that's one of the most difficult places to try to work a pick. You know, you're heading into the breach and omen utility. Major gaps straight down mid here in the defensive protocols. You can see it in the way that Sadak's positioned, but Lev will root up now into Cat. Spike really no intention of bringing this one out through into A, just seeing if they can force out that response, and they do. It's going to be so difficult if Lev choose to go mid to B. Here we go, force broken, nade. Down at their feet, Sadak still with the ult, ready to pop it off at a moment's notice here, but straight through mid again. Cause being made with these adjustments, 25 seconds left. Again, it's just on absolutely anyone's game. It's a, a nice scramble. edge, scramble. Where do they go? Straight into Sadak and Cold. listen. Straight to the back of the site. TP, reinforcements finally arriving. There's only a few seconds left and this is the map. It's all on the line and it's crumbled. It's fallen to pieces, two years, sharp, precise. It's how it finishes, it's how it ends. It's desperation, and dire straits all about. All you gotta do is hide, and loud, I